The Speedway was originally a mile and a quarter uh, harness racing track. It's one of the first recreational resources that was built as part of the state's new idea to have a metropolitan park system um, in the 1890s. This park was created with a residence for the superintendent, stables for the metropolitan police, and administrative offices. We got to the point where it really was kind of at the chopping block. And luckily at that point, there's a great uprising by Boston Preservation Alliance along with the Historic Boston Incorporated and Preservation Massachusetts. Those groups worked really hard to come up with a collective vision, but how and what economic model would be used to do that was where we kind of came in and figured out a way to make it a viable success. It wasn't a job you could go attack. There was a lot of, okay, what are we gonna do here? We had to plan properly and make sure we still met the historic aspect of the project. It makes the job interesting and enjoyable because I'm not just following what someone drew. We were also really fortunate early on to um, have identified Notch as our anchor tenant, and really that was the linchpin. Notch is a brand that doesn't always conform to the industry norm. Uh, we really like to have unique spaces. We really like to be part of neighborhoods. People are pretty blown away that we've taken what was horse stalls to state police barracks to a DCR headquarters and really see what we've done with it now. You know, in the world of recycling and, you know, reusing and upcycling, you're kind of upcycling a building, if you will. This was a wonderful opportunity to partner with AHF, who would show up to a site like this that, you know, totally overgrown, you know, all everything boarded up in really a scary a sort of sense of disrepair. And for them to say like, oh yeah, we'll figure out a vision, for, like have a vision for that. We put together a program to solicit small creative operators for the horse stalls along Western Avenue. It was a chance for us to reach out to the creative community to find entrepreneurs that would be looking to make a step into a bricks and mortar space for the first time. The Kochi Club is Boston's first sake bar. I signed the lease in June of 2021 when we were still in quarantine and no one was signing leases. What really drew me in was the aesthetic. It was the history that is steeped into the walls. It was the stone wall that runs along the back. Almost all of the other business owners here are women too, which is wonderful. So I can go next door and ask a colleague and it really does feel like a community of small businesses. They've really built a, a community here um, and everybody feeds off of everybody. You can make a night of this place. It was built over all of these different phases and the uses kept evolving, including when we got here and then evolved it again into the new use for it. At the end of the day, it's a better built building. You know, we insulated, upgraded the exterior walls, the foundations were all repaired, repointed. It was great to get involved with and turn it into what it is today. The story of perseverance and investment and like community passion, hopefully that's part of it. We can like pass that on. I have told the story about when I came here with my five-year-old who's now 12. When we come back together and he looks around and has his eyes opening up wide and he kind of gets it in a way that reminds us that we're not doing this for us, we're doing it for future generations. 